And I'd give up forever to touch you Cause I know that you'd feel me somehow You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be And I don't wanna go home right now And all I can taste is this moment And all I can breathe is your life And sooner or later it's over I just don't wanna miss you tonight And I don't want the world to see me Cause I Paint a gouache portrait with me. Watercolor base. Darkest colors first. Purples and greens for shadows. Oranges for midtones. Highlights. Blocking in hair. Small highlights. Fabric. Background time. Peel tape. Yay, we're done. After two months of working on this watercolor painting, I'm finally putting the finishing touches on it today. I'm stoked AF. A satisfying line. Yeah, line. Splat, splat, smack that brush, oh yeah, baby. So satisfying.
I'm your muffin man. You're my muffin man. You're my muffin girl. I'm your muffin girl. Let's get together and we'll see the muffin world. In a car, in a plane, we can muffin every day. Always, forever, in our little muffin tray. You're my muffin man. You paint till golden brown. Two come truck buttons and a smile that never frowns. You know me. My name's Susie. Say now, will you marry? Hey everybody, welcome to another Watercolor 101. Today I'll be teaching you how to paint some easy flowers. We're going to start with lavender here, and first we'll just be using green to paint a thin vertical line, and then we'll use a lavender color, surprise, to make little dots and dashes coming down the stem. Try to keep these loose, but try to keep the paint strokes angling out and away from the stem. And I always think it looks good to paint these in bunches. Now we'll be painting a pink daisy flower, so for this flower, you'll use a pink color and a round brush, and using the tip of the brush starting on that guideline, you'll just press it down so that it makes this petal shape. You can mix in some purples and different colors in here too, and just keep layering these petals until you like it. And with the dark purple, just add a little half circle of small strokes for the middle of the flower. And add some stems and you're done. I hope this is helpful and inspires you to paint something today. Roses are hard to draw, okay? Like, really hard to draw. On my last video, someone commented and said, you should draw a rose. And so I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll try it. You know, I'm not very good at it, but, but I'll try it. And guess what? They're still really hard to draw. They're really freaking hard to draw. So next time you see a rose pop up in your feed, you know, you should like that video and you should comment because cause roses are hard to draw. And anybody who's really good at drawing roses, like, I think this might be the most intricate piece I've ever done. I actually took 53 minutes worth of footage for this one, so I'm whittling it down for this TikTok. Here I am doing the trees and I'm adding just many, many different shades of greens, putting down the base coat layers and adding different color stones and shadow layers. I really love this pink detailing in the house. But the railing is my favorite part because I get to add white highlights of my jelly roll pen and it's just uh, so crisp and clean and just the final little details and then I sign it and get a nice tape reveal here and this is the final result. I think TikTok needs to see this.